But before I keep showing you the inside, let's just take a look at the outside a little bit more. Now this was a small upgrade that we did. We just added those into this. Now we're just taking a look at the wheels. Uh, this is an R17. So you guys can see the details just a little bit better. And the front looks like so. So this is the front of the Chevy. Now here it is, how it looks from the side. Now what I'm gonna do is just getting the passenger side. So here it is, this is how it looks from the passenger side. Oh, let's just get in here. And right here, you're gonna see the control panel. We've got USB. Now again, this truck we ordered with the trailering package. So we have this button right here. Uh, there's other ones right here that you'll notice. Pretty standard stuff. Right here, it's your radio and all that stuff. We're gonna actually turn it on right now so you guys can see how to turn this on. So as long as you have your keys with you, all you have to do is just press the push button. Obviously, press the brake while you turn this on. And there we go. So right now we just turned it on. You're gonna see this popping up. Here we go. You're gonna see all your information there, standard stuff. Uh, with this right here, you can move on to get more information about the car. So different things about the car. You can get information about your filter and just everything about your car that you may want to know about your oil. Everything will be in there. You just kind of just turn this and then you're going to see different information, including how to set the timer, your tire pressure. You can check it that way as well. And like I said, your oil following distance. And obviously you can just go back into speed. That's the setting that most people are going to have it on. Now right here is your control panel. So it's basic stuff that all cars have now. You've got Apple CarPlay, Android. Uh, so you can hook this up through Bluetooth just to play music. Or if you want to have your navigation here, you do have to hook up your iPhone, for example, if you have one, with a USB cable directly to your iPhone. Then you can go on and have your navigation displayed here. Other than that, right here, you're not gonna see that much stuff. Just on the side, you're gonna have this right here for your wipers. And obviously you got this right here, so you can actually drive. On the top, you just have your settings for your lights. And before I forget, see this right here? This is actually because your car will turn off when you just stop at, at, at the lights. So you could turn this off, so that way your car does not turn off when you're at the lights and you hit the brakes, because some people just don't like that. For me, it's the same thing. It As soon as you just let go, of your brake and you start to accelerate it, it just turns on right away so it's not really a problem but not everybody likes it this is just to unlock the back this doesn't mean that it's automatically going down or up it just unlocks it and this right here is for your lane so if you turn this on basically if you're going on the road and your car notices that you're going drifting off to the right or to the left it's gonna start beeping it's gonna tell you so that's your basics right here uh, obviously here we have a ton of customization that we can do with inside our settings we can click on our camera and check out the back right here we got this storage it's really small you can barely fit anything there maybe phones that's about it maybe your wallet inside here you've got more storage close that up now to turn off your car all you have to do is just press this and once you press this that's it you're done it's just automatically gonna turn off later I'm gonna show you right here, there's a mirror on the other side for passenger, also a mirror, close that up. Now from the front, if I look to the back, that's how it looks like. Oh, and I forgot to show you guys, in the middle, so this is the middle seat of the front, if you lift this up, there's some additional storage. So that's actually extremely useful. And of course, I also forgot the front, yeah, you've got USB. And right here, you got your standard connection right in there. Would also like to note that don't mind these, these are nothing. That's if you ordered more stuff to come with your car, then there would be something there or there or there. And there would be something here as well. That's if you customize your car and got a better model or you just added stuff to your car. So again, this was a view from the passenger side. Now the cameras will be located right here. You will notice these. And on the back, you're gonna notice this as well. If you got the trailering package, you will get these connections. 
plus you're also gonna get the hitch so that's how the hitch looks like from the trailering package so to unlock it you press twice it unlocks and we can just go ahead and manually push it down and it goes down really really easily it's got the assist now right here it looks really dark that's because we got the cover on it but you're gonna notice that we did add a spray to it as well so again the the spray is pretty important that's some that's a must really and that's how the spray looks like it's not gonna be the most pretty thing in the world but it is to protect your car and you will need it most people will need it but anyways let's just put this up let's put it up all you have to do is just push it up and then it just locks so if i open this up this is where your gas goes you can see some instructions there let's just close this up so again this is how the trifold looks like it's a pretty neat one and again we got this straight from them just gonna highlight the step a little bit because it is something that looks really good and it is useful if you're maybe around five foot this would be useful for this type of truck would also like to note that the handbrake is actually this button right here so if you are parking on something steep go ahead and use that so that's right here on your driver's side it would be on the left hand side just beside these guys but well, underneath these guys now to open up the hood of this chevy down here below just below this button you will notice this down here all you have to do is just go like so you're gonna hear a pop you're gonna notice that this just opened up all you have to do is just put your hand in you're gonna feel something that you have to press well kind of swivel to the right hand side and that unlocks it so what i was talking about is this and i was just pressing this like so so i was doing this action to unlock this and that actually makes this unlock like so so that's what that does all right so the engine and everything else you guys can have a quick glance at it so here you go so it's pretty easy to access right here at battery which is very important so i've seen some models of cars where it's almost impossible which makes absolutely no sense and really there's not that much to show you but here you go and to close this you just bring it down so I do want to note that you do have to kind of slam this in order to lock it up or else you're just going to be pushing up and down a lot. Now here is the back of the truck and that's it. There's really not much more to show you. That would be it for this video. If, if you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.